For, for example, Overwatch, it's more on this way. And then they use the, the flow map. It's a, a texture map that will bring a, a good anisotropic effect. And for Overwatch, and we have the shapes for Valorant that it's more crazy. It's shapes like that. The corner here are very crazy. And we have the Fortnite that it's mixed with these guys here. So basically you have crazy shapes, some ports more smooth at. with cavities. It's more shapes like that. Fortnite. Valorant override, okay? Hello guys, how are you doing? Be welcome to another tutorial here on this channel on and at I'm learning yet <laughs> So well guys in this tutorial we're gonna see how to improve a little bit the this hair mesh of the this character and just to remind you if you want to see how to scope this character the complete body with the anatomy hair the full process of the high poly you can get the cure stylized character script in zbrush on udemy and also on skillshare you can assess it okay so let's go i am thinking to continue this character make the topology all the the other steps and uh, for it, I'm gonna reorganize some things. Uh, I am thinking how I can improve the hair because I'm thinking to make this correct for a game. So how I can bring a, a better visual, something that will work better, uh, something that will work better into the game. So I need to think on it. I am a 3D character artist. It's not just copy the concept. I need to think and I, I need to think a little bit more about that so how i can give a better aspect okay but to start uh, what we need to do it's just to fix this hair mesh and you're gonna see how i i do that so for example here we have the dyna mesh dyna mesh it's a good way sometimes to sculpt but we can't keep the dyna mesh we need to make a, a new topology that we can change it's more like a, the procedural idea about when we are texturing so for example here i have this uh dyna mesh too but here how you can see we have different mesh so here for example i can make change very fast because i have the subdivide subdivisions option so this it's the best way how is that possible you need to create meshes that you can make very quickly change and it's very easy to make this change because here i have the dyna mesh but it's not too easy to make the the change for example on silhouette or or test new new designs one thing that i like to do is to work with z sphere so of course i could make this uh red topology into the Maya or Blender and get the same silhouette, same visual with this shape here. But I think to change it a little bit, uh, I don't know, it's all to inflate uh, the density. I'm not a happy with that. I'm, I'm trying to explore something new. So for example, here I have the concept uh i don't know i would like to explore something different maybe we could make something to more cylindrical shape maybe uh, i don't know it's it's a time to explore and i i like that so what i like to do here it's basically let me make polymesh 3d and append a new Z sphere. Always, basically, I use this sphere to to work with the hair. Of course, I use also uh, ready brushes that I make the download from internet. And but a lot of time, usually, I use these spheres because I have a, a better control to do that. And for these, these specific shapes, I use these spheres. So is it, let me press key 
scale and change the this is sphere and I'm gonna try to find the same shape here it's not necessary to be exactly the same volume and proportion it's more to have an initial point so why I'm doing it because I, I could use the the zero measure too but I'm gonna show you how you can work with these spheres here to do that so that's okay let me move more to this side and I can press A to see the adaptive skin so I'm gonna try to create a new new shape here a new visual so what I'm gonna do now it's press A but here in adaptive skin I'm gonna set density 0 1 and the dynamesh 0 so press A again and I have this visual density 1 and dynamesh 0, zero. make polymesh 3D now I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna try to make a clean shape here. This is my workflow. I like too much work on this way. Let me go to display, active the double, and make the same thing here because I'm gonna remove some edge loops. So let me check here. Yeah, do hidden. And now I can try to keep only for edge loop so I can remove this one hold out I'm using the modeler and hold out here and here and I have this shape the same thing here I can remove all these loops here because it's a lot of loops I don't I don't like to work in the beginning with all these loops I like to have a better a better option to to change the things so i try to work with a very 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 low mesh then i gonna refine it so is it now i can try to fix the the loops let me see here i have one two yeah it's all right so let me just move this guy here. I can select the, the modeler edge actions and select the slide edge loop complete. And change here and I'm gonna keep more square shape. So let me move up a little bit this guy and try to work on the, the uh, on, uh, uh, on the structure here more box shape so yes sometimes i spend um this time doing it how i say to you this is my workflow i prefer make on this way and spend this time because for me it's better to understand the things i'm gonna keep up that for now this part because it's better to add um, let me delete these guys here is not more necessary because it's better to add edge loops without problems and let me add the skin Z sphere let me select it and I'm gonna change drag and drop into the hair folder here so now that's okay, that's cool. What I can do is change the, 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 the white here. I can use the move or I press Ctrl Z. Use the transpose or make masks and make it, make it isolated. So the secret to make hair here is it you need to make the things very very calmly without try to to find 
uh, easy ways because probably you will need remake a lot of things so this is not the, the best way I recommend you make the things very calmly so let me check let me move this guy here so how I have this Dynamesh the final Dynamesh version it's better because I have um, uh, as a guild line so it's easy it's just to follow the reference but of course I will not follow exactly because I am creating a new design so if I am creating a new design I wanna test new things and not make the exact, exactly the same thing so the question why a lot of people don't do uh, good hairs good hair it's because they want to make the things very fast and this is the problem to make hair it's impossible you make extremely fast because if you try to make extremely fast you're gonna make uh, you you will get a better result so don't do that try to make very calmly things and here I have this shape I can press D to check the um, to check the um, the dynamic subdivision just D is not controlling so dynamic subdivision that's okay it's working let me set for that's cool and usually uh, these shapes for for example overwatch it's more on this way and then they use the um, the flow map it's a uh, uh, texture map that will bring a, a good anisotropic effect and for overwatch and we have the shapes for valorant that it's more crazy at. it's sh shapes like that the corner here are very crazy at. and we have the fortnite that it's mixed with these guys here so basically you have Grisette shapes, some ports more smooth fat with cavities, it's more shapes like that. Fortnite, Valorant, Overwatch. Okay. So uh, now what I can do here is use this initial point. That's cool. Let him select this guy here. I can hidden it and select this port, turn off transparency and ghost and how you can see we have this different shape it's more organic and I am thinking to change and make something like that so what I gonna do now I, I, I have tested and has worked the device so now I can close these guys here because I I gonna keep just this visual this this form this shape and i can use the bridge to close i like to use the model because it's too fast to make this this change it's not necessary i send to my or blender to make it and i have this shape here that's okay for me of course we have this gap that we could maybe duplicate that and try to test here of course it's necessary use reference always don't forget it but here how you can tell how, how you can see it's very very fast to make this change so i have delete the hidden bridge and here this part i can just move to get this this visual and let me move up a little bit this part let me move up a little bit here this way to close the gaps and how you can see it's very easy to make these changes very very easy let me apply the Few color white color here and how you can see you have a different visual 
it's not better but it's a different visual so i'm gonna explore going to this way because i think maybe we work better and other thing that we can do for example to test it go to geometry press ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d four times and select them standard and we can make some landmarks here to the hair ctrl d five subdivisions and we can have this transition so it's very very cool just to have a, a variation here on this way too i start working on the low subdivision here and then i increase a little bit it subdivision and work with this this design so it's just an example remember that but it's very very helpful this part here it's same thing can hold out and try to play to create a different visual here just create this variation other cool thing that you can do after it go to geometry and clay polish and apply the clay polish and we're gonna have a more clean visual but for it let me use six subdivision and apply the clay polish so we have this this shape but for this character we'll not make this this thing let him press ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z I gonna just keep these two landmarks. Yes, very very delicate. Let me select them standard here too. Just this delicate landmark. That's okay. And same thing with this guy. Control D, Control D, Control D five times. and I can play a little bit with that in diagonal. I'm gonna follow this direction here. And I'm gonna keep <coughs> the corners here without make changes. So how you can see, this is my workflow. It's not a roll, of course, but I like to make this. I like to play with that. So let me see here, this transition, yeah, maybe here I can try to keep more, the tip more thin, yeah, and this silhouette here. Let me select, mo uh, modify the, the topological move and I want to create a little curve here. So let me see. Yes, it's better. So that's cool, it's a good point to start. Can press Ctrl D, clay polish, six of division. Let me see the root here. More or less on this way. Same thing here. Press D. And maybe this port and set more down here just to to close the to hidden the other part of the hair let me use the high polish so how you can see before i was using more polish head visual and here i am using something more curved and smooth i'm changing this this shape 
how you can see for example here can use them standard and hold out to mark a little bit this reset port but I don't want it I want something very smooth fat and curve it so is it this is the first point and I gonna start making this change because I wanna make a redesign this is not uh, a bad visual it's not wrong but I decided to test uh, a new design and try to work with this more thin shape because then we'll be better to animate it and have a, a, a better interaction into the game okay so this is my workflow guys I just want to share it very fast to give you a, a good direction to start and make your your new projects your characters you can apply this this idea and always it's important you make tests very fast tests and don't stay for example uh with your mind on a unique idea and on a unique uh, silhouette on a unique on a unique visual test different visual explore it and play uh with the the mesh, the silhouettes, the volumes, and of course, the most important, you need just fun. Uh, you you need to have fun with that. So because that I am doing it, I decided to change this uh, visual here hair because I feel that I can make a better. I can make a better character. So I'm gonna change this visual here. I'm gonna make something more more like that it's more like a um riot it's more like a blizzard visual the the border the the shape it's different and here i want to change it to i'm gonna make a lot of new changes and try to adapt to a better character the structure of her too so how you can see the silhouette the torso the proportion here it's a little different and i i wanna see if uh, i can do that so i'm gonna make this change and if you wanna see that just comment in the description of this video and i'm gonna bring new 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 videos with new updates for for here so here it's a, a good journey and maybe this guy here i can use the move and try to check it these little little tweaks yeah so the cool part is that I can work on the low resolution then the high resolution and just to show you let me find here here I'm gonna show you the Kiriko so look this hair here how you can see this is the same idea it's more let me see here the shape it's something like that on this way this one and here of course we have some landmarks but usually here we have this this shape something like oh let me hold ask come on i don't want how to say because it Oh, okay, no crash. <sighs> That's okay. So, how I I was saying, let me duplicate that and press Shift D. So, let me move back here and delete the higher. So, I was doing on this shape, curvet, and to make something more creased, it's very simple, it's just use here the poly group we can use the poly group and group by normals and try to change the number here to get automatically poly group to the, the polygons so it's very useful sometimes so for example here i can press ctrl w uh, let me isolate this guy and here let me see I need this one 
let me hidden here yeah let me hidden this guy and let me see whoa i can use the let me try to hidden this one and this this guy here Yeah, I'm gonna select the um, select lasso, and I need to make it handily. It's a little more. We need to work a little bit more, but that's okay. It's the life, and that's okay. Let me press Control W. Let me work now, and you can use the automatically crease PG, crease polygroup. Let him press Ctrl W, so that's okay. I like to keep the groups because it's it's better. I can use the crease and increase very fast. For example, if I press Ctrl D or just D to active the dynamic division, we're gonna have this this curve at shape. But if I use the crease PG, you're gonna see that I have this shape here. It's very cool. But also, you can, for example, use the the insert from the modeler. You can use the insert your edge, insert single edge loop, and I'm gonna have a little bit of more flat. It will be not curved, will be not too creased, will be something more like this shape. So if I want, I can change it and keep this part more creased too and to get this result here, for example, this shape here. So it's very, very cool. I can make inverse here and have this part more flat and the top part more curved. So we have a lot of, a lot of options. So let me show you here. So for example, how you can see it's different to this part from this part. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tip and a little bit about my workflow to make hair. If you want to see more about a hair or a specific workflow, a specific project, please tell me, comment in the description. And is it all the best? See you in the next tutorial.